app friends. Hello app friends. So if you cast your memory back, if you're a regular on our channel, we did a one marker challenge. And in that one marker challenge, we asked you guys if we should have a go at doing a two marker challenge. And the twist is, is that both me and Adam, because we've got Adam here that, too. That's me. So basically we're going to pick one colour each mm -hmm. and then we'll swap halfway through. That's the plan. So we use two colours, but we are still only picking one marker. That's the twist. We have removed all the greys yes. and the blacks into another bag and the metallics because they're not actually markers, the water based. So mm -hmm. these are all colours in theory. They should all be. All colour markers. Yeah. I hope I haven't left any in that aren't meant to be in there. I don't think so. No, I think we're good. The rule with this is we first have to draw a sketch. Yes, so it doesn't influence what we draw. And what paper are we using? This is Bristol Lard. Oh. Because well, last time we did a one marker challenge, we didn't use the right paper. <laughs> oh, so that'd be interesting. It feels kind of different too. I think we should get started. That's a very lightly doodled. I'm scared to like commit to any of the lines. It's <laughs> such a tiny little piece of paper that I've cut for us and I'm trying to fit a full body in it. Do you have an idea what you want to do yet? I'm hoping to try and turn her into like a little fairy kind of character. Oh, that'd be cute. Have you got any inspiration for this one? Hmm. You know, you hinted at what you want to do, like fit something fairy -y. I was like, that's very good and cute and stuff, so I wanted to do something a bit more evil. <laughs> <laughs> so you take expression by my idea by doing the polar opposite. Yeah. There's so many things you could do with that. You could either do like an evil fairy, or a witch, mm -hmm. or um, a sea serpent. <laughs> a sea serpent. <laughs> All the fairies have gone to the beach and <laughs> some sea serpent comes and eats them. <laughs> I've started to give her like quite poofy hair. But as a result, I don't know if I'm going to be able to see the wings behind it, so I might just turn her into a ballerina instead of like a fairy. <laughs> no, you can't do that! <laughs> Why is your you idea relying yeah, on that? It relies on it. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, okay, maybe I should give her some wings somehow. She can be a ballerina, but there's, there's, yeah, yeah. Have you got anything that you'd want to share so far? No. Nothing. <laughs> it's a secret. Everything you do on Doodle Dates apparently a secret. Okay, you can look really quick, you ready? Okay. Then again. Have you noticed that he's using the card that says Hi Art Friends yeah. on it? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we'll have to learn how to do sign language and then we can... Oh, that'd like be fun. That. Yeah. I'm trying to find a way to show it so that you can properly see it it's on so camera. It's so light on yours. Just as I get the camera to focus on you and you start raising. <laughs> it's like, oh, don't look at it. Is she a little witch? Yeah, and that's why she's got two nets. Because <laughs> she's trying to catch your fairy person. Oh. <laughs> Otherwise she would have been some weird witch. Catching a ballerina. Catching ballerinas. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been an interesting story. <laughs> I think ever since I was refused getting into ballerina class, I have dedicated my life to kidnapping ballerinas. <laughs> it's probably a better story. Yeah. Well, she could do that if she wanted to, I guess. You give her like a, a witch, like tutu or something. <laughs> the little evil ballerina. Yeah, that's why I was trying to keep it a secret. But then as soon as she was like, mm, I'm not feeling the fairy thing. Oh, ballerina. <laughs> You're like, you like, better Ow. feel the fairy Ow. thing. <laughs> Have you realised we're practically wearing the same colour? We're like super colour coded. <laughs> we're matchy matchy. So she's a witch in a tutu now, right? Yeah, because she's dedicated her life to ending ballet in all of its forms. <laughs> I did one class of ballet when I was younger and I cried and asked to go home. <laughs> really? Yeah, true I story. I forgot about that. <laughs> I don't really have a flair for dance. No, it's, it's tough though, I mean... And drawing's kind of my creative outlet. Plus, I don't think I really have uh, the joints. <laughs> <laughs> no, that you probably yeah. need for dancing. Jeez, if you get up too quick, you need like a day just to go <laughs> Yeah, I've had a problem with my hip joints since I've been born, so anything to do with exercise, it's probably best that I don't take partake <laughs> in it too much. <laughs> I think the hat that Adam's just drawn in on this reminds you of like a Tim Burton style hill. No, oh, like when Jack Skellington's like on the top singing there. <laughs> yeah, it adds sort of like an element of creepiness to it. <laughs> you guys make noises while you're inking. <laughs> What? I'm gonna purposely not colour the eye in because whatever colour we get could be the colour of our eyes. <laughs> I hope we pick some pretty decent colours because you have a terrible track record for this. I know, right? <laughs> it's very trusting of you to take part in this challenge. <laughs> Mark, like the marker challenges and stuff. One of the ones I enjoy the most. Are there any pencil related challenges? Because obviously Adam likes drawing in pencils. If not, there needs to be many invented. Steph's made a makeshift table with seconds. Yeah, this is like one of my favourite books. <laughs> and now it's your favourite table! I still haven't got around to reading all of it yet. I am currently there. 
That said, if you're young, I might not recommend reading it. There's a few naughty bits in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to go over it a bit in pencil and then probably we should get to picking pens. What colours are you hoping for? Because obviously you've got an evil character. I've got a good one. I'm kind of hoping for pinks. I haven't really planned this through very well because we deliberately took out the greys and the blacks. So what does Adam draw? A witch! <laughs> I'll be so happy when these lines are done. <laughs> I'm so convinced that I'm just going to go... <laughs> And if anyone's curious, the one that she's using is the Pentel brush pen. Yeah, the Pentel ink brush pen. I bet pretty much every artist on YouTube you'll see using this at some <laughs> point because it's just such a standard in most people's art supply kit. Which ironically, because we live in the UK, you cannot get hold of this thing in the UK whatsoever. And uh, pretty much everyone I know gets them from like Amazon and gets them imported from like America or something. Yes, yeah, or like, you know, Amazon, eBay, people that sell all over the world. Strangely though, it's made by Pentel. Mm -hmm. And um, I've seen Pentel art supplies in our art stores before. I like Byros and, and this stuff, This is like yeah. one of their best like selling products, so why wouldn't they sell that here? I don't get it. Yeah, Pentel, are you listening? <laughs> sell us brush pens. <laughs> that said, I can't think of many brush pens that are on like the English market. I don't think I've ever actually, like say when we are out and about shopping, I don't think I've ever come, a, come across one before. Right, I'm going to let Adam pick a colour first, because <laughs> he's usually pretty good at picking colours. And I trust him. No, it's all, no pressure. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Get them um, papers shut. Well, do you want to mix them around real quick? So there's no, no oh, okay. cheating. I'm mixing them. The mixed. The mixed, yeah? Yep. Okay, um, this one. Ah. Oh. What's wrong? <laughs> Oh, that's good. I do. I like orange. Okay. Just, I was hoping it was going to be pink. <laughs> no pink for you. You want to pick yours now? Okay. <laughs> Let's mix them up for you. Mm -hmm. Come here. <laughs> Let's show you how to mix these pens. Oh, okay. Imagine if I picked orange as well. <laughs> <laughs> this dude hits over. <laughs> okay, I'm so ready. Okay. Pick. Right. This one. Yellow. <laughs> <laughs> These colours are very similar. You picked this exact colour in your one marker challenge. Mm hmm Well... Well, I've picked it for you. <laughs> <laughs> for no greens! That's good news, alright. <laughs> Why don't I ever get pink or lilac? If we ever do another one of these, we're going to throw that yellow one away. <laughs> <laughs> no, the other one's not bad. Oh, we yeah. should probably show you guys, before we get started, a quick peek. There's Steph. Oh, mine seems to have a hair on it. <laughs> Steph's. And there's mine. And now we need to colour oh, them. Both of these could work these. as hair colours. I don't know whether to have ginger hair or yellow hair. Well, you have to start with yellow because you picked that. We'll colour in everything with these so far. And then, and then switch. We'll swap halfway through, yeah. Okay, That's cool. going to be the best way to get it to work. Um, What's going to be yellow first? I mean, I've got thick yellow hair, but I feel like she'd suit Ooh. having orange hair more. And a dress could work in yellow. And with that, the dress is yellow. <laughs> I was going to give mine orange hair. Yeah. But Weird. if you're going to do it orange, I think I should do it yellow. So uh, we've got two different designs so going on. Should we say that once we swap our pens, we're not allowed to swap back? Like, yeah, I think that's. I think it would it be makes pretty it more cool. Of a challenge, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think it'd be better to have a rule like that. Obviously, we're going to give her like blondish hair. So I guess her outfit is going to need to be orange. orange. Yeah, which should be pretty cool. That so. means our characters are like polar opposite colours then. I forgot how much you love going in with chisel tips. <laughs> yeah, I like block all the colour in. Granted, <laughs> I'm not very good with them, but I do enjoy using them. Oh, it doesn't matter as long as you have fun. That's the main oh, principle yeah. with drawing. I tell you, orange and yellow, I would never have guessed that we would have picked those. They're actually like quite Halloween-y colours, because Americans have some kind of a candy treat that's in orange and yellow. I oh, think really? it's called uh, candy corns. I've never tried one in like my entire life, but I know at Halloween um, in America I've seen people wear outfits that look like little candy really? corns and I, stuff, yeah. I like if any of you guys have read candy corn then, I've never even heard yeah, of it. Yeah, can you actually describe to us what they're meant to taste like? Does it taste like corn? <laughs> I do. Candied corn. It looks kind of like a jelly sweet. But it might taste like corn. I really wouldn't know. <laughs> right, I'm hoping I can pick up some of the pencil and make 
the little un different tones. The undertone, the underside of this, yeah, a different tone. You know, you like trying to see it in your head, like which bits will be wh what color, and you're like, mm hmm. I know. I keep trying to figure it out because if her hair's gonna be orange, does that mean the wings should be yellow? Exactly. But yeah. then the dress <laughs> is yellow, so I want like the wings merge into the dress. It's a pretty fun chat. I think. I think I prefer this challenge. Uh, I prefer this one more than the one marker The one marker one, yeah. challenge. You know guys, I recently got some new jeans because they were so cheap and they stick to like every hair or piece of guinea pig hair in the entire house. You and got my such... hair molts as it is, so I am absolutely just... You got like hair yeti right legs. I do. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ooh, that's unusual. It's interesting because this is with the yellow still. You haven't committed to orange yet, have you? I might as well do some of these sparkles in yellow. Tell you what, I'm gonna go whoa, jump whoa. in with some yellow wings. I think the marker's actually pulling up some of the Pentel ink. Oh, so you're getting a different tone again? Uh, not intentionally, I'm not, but it's doing <laughs> something. It's like Bob Ross said, it's a happy little accident. <laughs> I think it's a happy little cloud. <laughs> The ends of her fingers are yellow. Maybe she's had her fingers in um, lemon curd. Or egg mayonnaise. <laughs> That's considerably grosser <laughs> than lemon curd. That's what she is. Maybe she's like an egg mayonnaise fairy because she's yellow and white. No, she's not an egg mayonnaise fairy. <laughs> well, she and just... her knees look like fried eggs. Right, I definitely need to get some <laughs> orange in her at this point. <laughs> fried egg fairy. <laughs> I shall grant you three wishes as long as they all include eggs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think this is the moment of truth where... We can swap. Ooh. Come on. Let's do this trade off on camera. Let's make it look. Oh, yeah, that's mine. <laughs> I thought you'd give me the yellow no. one. <laughs> it's like, see ya. <laughs> You're not getting this. There we go. Trade Thank then. <laughs> no, I'm sad to see like the magic egg fairy go. Oh, look at those little orange lips. That works. Now she looks like scrambled eggs with tomato ketchup. I think orange hair is so pretty. Yeah, I really like it as well. Does that mean you'd let me dye my hair orange? If you really wanted to. What about if I just dyed my eyebrows orange? I once accidentally dyed my fringe orange oh, when yeah? I was a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> when I was walking to school, my friend saw me and he was like, why is your hair a tropical fruit? That was his exact words. <laughs> uh, orange is tropical fruit? Well, I dyed my hair like a, a ready purple colour and my fringe was orange, so I did kind of look oh. like a passion fruit. <laughs> so you had like a little fruit salad on your head. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I ended up spending so much money to go back light again. I am committed to just being a light colour now and I'm just going to stay this way. <laughs> and are you doing that thing where your hand covers the entire drawing? Oh jeez. We're an art channel, you know, show us some action. <laughs> Why can't we be a hand model channel and <laughs> no, be good, we'd be at, good that. at that? Yeah. I've just noticed something about your witch character. Oh really? <laughs> Considering she's meant to be even and all of that, um, she's not actually doing a good job if you think about it because her nets are completely empty. <laughs> <laughs> She's missed every single <laughs> butterfly. She's like, now is not the time for a picture. <laughs> I am having a bad day. <laughs> yeah, it's not the best promotional image for her service. Do you mind if I add a new rule to this challenge? <laughs> Are you making up rules as you go along, Adam? <laughs> That's what I'm good at. Do you think the YouTube community will approve of you making up rules no. as you go along? <laughs> <laughs> no, they won't. But you're going to do it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> the hell of a community. <laughs> Community spirit, everyone. It's not as if I'm adding another colour, I just want to use my pencil again, is that allowed? What do you want to use it for? To darken the sticks, and maybe add a bit of details into there. I go for it, I won't tell oh, anyone. Thank you. Except the entire community, because it's in this video. Thank you, community. Thank you. <laughs> They're probably all in the comments like, no, you don't have our permission, what are you doing? Oh, there you <laughs> Use a pencil in my challenge, will you? <laughs> Oh, I see what you're up to. See, that, because you're going to be able to tell it's a stick just by doing this a bit better. <laughs> if you're doing that, I might add some more butterfly details on the the wings. You're making the community angry. Hangry. Yeah. <laughs> hungry oh, and angry. The community's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Feed them. <laughs> we actually get a lot of comments from people because we eat in videos quite a bit saying that we make them hungry. <laughs> so it wouldn't be that, um, that unusual for our comment section to be hangry. <laughs> I don't know whether to add something like a little pattern to her sleeves or not. Maybe if she had one that went down here, thingy line like this, and maybe some circles. Oh, I'm always impressed by patterns. <laughs> I'm a pattern guy. Right, to make her look a bit more butterfly, because look at these references that I found. Oh. They tend to have like a little bit of black around the edge of the wings. Mm hmm. I could have given it antennas, that would have been cool. But she'd look a bit alien y, I think. Yeah, and this witch doesn't catch aliens. 
She only catches <laughs> butterflies and she doesn't do that very well. <laughs> no, she doesn't. <laughs> Well, butterfly ballerinas, and to her credit, they're pretty rare. I like that. Oh, no, no, I've got to make it match on the other side. <laughs> now her top wings look a bit like Pikachu. Oh, yeah, it does. It looks like Pikachu's ears. I can't unsee this now. It looks like she's torn off Pikachu's no! ears. It's like, it'll make a fine addition to my costume. I'm sure a Pokemon have some kind of, like, Peter or something. Yeah, they're called Peter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've never pronounced the name out loud before. It's like that thing where, um... People say in Pokemon that Ash and stuff eat, eats fish in the TV show, and it's like, well, is he eating Pokemon then and stuff? Oh, yeah. Do they have ordinary animals in Pokemon? Like, has he ever had a pet cat or something? Or... <laughs> Ash's pet cat mittens. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see other marker challenges we've done, because we've done quite a few of them now, I'll link them above. Woo! And here is our finished markery pieces. Choo choo. Woo! Did you be in a train? Yeah. Oh. It's a marker train. <laughs> All aboard the marker train. <laughs> Doodle date. Don't look at me, I'm having a bad day.